Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. And in this video, we're going to be adding user accounts to this, and it's going to be in basically two lines of code. So uh, that's pretty exciting if you ask me. And we get to utilize a package that I created myself. So let's go ahead and get going on this here. We have our application, and I'm going to type over to some code. And you'll remember when we left off, uh, we basically were just pulling in our resolutions and we did some fun stuff with this dollar sign to subscribe to our resolutions and use this use tracker. Now, there are some interesting things we can do here along with this uh, this line of code here. In fact, uh, this can be even more simple and there are some like caveats around some of the stuff that we'll talk about. Uh, there's definitely some interesting ways that we can handle this beyond how we're doing. Now that said, let's go ahead and get going here with the main objective of this, which is simply going to be to add uh, some user accounts. Now, how do we do that? Well, the Meteor guide tells you to basically just add a, um, a, 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 uh, now the Meteor Guide asks you to add a package and that package, what it does is it uses Blaze, which is Meteor's own front end framework. And it uses that package to do what? Well, it uses Blaze to load the UI accounts package that came with Meteor. Now the UI accounts package, I'm going to say is way more full featured than the package that we're going to be showing you today. But the package that we're going to be showing you today doesn't require the usage of Blaze. Now, this package is open source. So if you'd like to add on to it, hey, I'm, I'm accepting pull requests. Again, I made this package uh, to make some of this stuff easy. So what we want to do is we want to head into our .meteor folder and then look at the packages file. That looks like this. Now, we can always add packages by typing in meteor add package name. But this is a meteor specific package. And I really like working in this packages file. It makes it nice and easy. In fact, let me show you how easy and nice it is. I'm, I'm sure we've already seen this. But what we can do here is say we want to add the package level up colon svelte hyphen accounts hyphen UI. Okay, this is going to be a mind blowing video because watch this as we save this, what we're going to see here is this should add uh, a couple of packages, including version six. If your package is not at least version six, you want to make sure that it is, uh, it will be, don't worry. Um, so level up Svelte accounts UI. And again, this is a package I created. So if you uh, want to contribute, we'd be happy to have you contribute. Okay, so the application, no worse for the wear. Okay, which is always a good sign when you install something. And let's go ahead and add to app.svelte some of this code that I was teasing out as being amazing. So what we want to do here is import and it's going to be login window. And it's going to be from meteor forward slash level up colon svelte. accounts UI. Now, the cool thing about Meteor is that they do have an accounts password package that makes writing your own custom account stuff really easy. So if you are interested in the ease of this, but prefer to write your entire own UI, it's very possible. Um, so we have the login window being imported here. And if we head down before yo that's or after yo that's fresh, we can just drop in a login window like this. Check it out. This is our login window. And just like that, we have a login window. Uh, I dare you to find a user account system that is easier than Meteor and Svelte using this package. I dare you. Uh, that said, it's it's missing features password wise. It's fantastic. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm just going to add a new username and password, and I'm going to click login. Uh, user not found. Obviously, uh, need an account. Oh, we'll sign up. Okay, I'm happy to sign up. Let's sign up and actually sign up. And you can see that not a whole lot has changed. Now that's because we didn't write any code to get the user from the database or show or hide this. But what we can do here is now in our console, we want to bump up this console, maybe clear the log, we can type meteor because it's a global dot user ID, which is a function, hit enter. Voila, that means we have a user 
and a user is currently logged in. And now this can be extremely reactive and awesome. And we're going to be diving in just a little bit more into that in the next video when we add the user subscription to the front end of the code and a log out button. Now, I keep talking about some security things that we're going to take care of in a couple of videos as well. But let me tell you, this login accounts system does not get any more complex. If you're thinking that the security things that we're referring to are going to uh, eliminate some of this ease, no. To use accounts in Meteor, in Svelte, you import a package, login window, and you say, login window. Hey, uh, as someone who doesn't love rolling their own user accounts, uh, I love this. Hey, and I decided to write a package to not roll my own, but use a UI for it, whatever. Again, like I said, if you are interested in learning more about how Meteor user accounts function, you could even dive into the source of this package that I wrote. And it's really, really simple. This package is like four files. Okay, so check it out. If you would like to contribute, I would love for you to contribute to this package. I'll make the repo link available, but so far that's it. All right, as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials and I will see you in the next one.